So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Day, huh? If you say so. What is it like being the prettiest girl in town? Don't know. Why don't you tell me? If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just... Never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? Do you have brains in America? Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside. Eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. He can fuck off. I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die, when they're old or sick. It's really weird. I can show you. But... I should probably wait for my mom. About that cat place. Yeah? There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But... 
I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun! Okay. Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. One cat. And it's not even dead. I guess no cats died today. That? Or they all had some spare lives left. This one looks like he's on his last one. Huh. You don't really like cats, do you? I was just fooling with you. Of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Then let's go see if he likes us. Looks like he does. Aww, you're such a lovely pussycat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. I guess cats don't really like me. Don't worry about it. I'll tell my black cat to go easy on you. I mean, if we're... if we're still friends by then. It's Brady! Come on, let's get some ice cream! Hey, Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Vanilla, please. Vanilla? Coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Why not? Because... No, just no. Don't you like ice cream? I do, but... It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but I can't. She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. I said no, and no means no.
You should probably go after her, dude. sometimes it's okay are we good we're good fist bump I found it really yes it's right where he said it was but I kind of need your help it's stuck under this thing what are you talking about He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. Wow, really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. How did you even get in there? There's a hole in the fence. Come on, I'll show you. I almost got it. I can't do it on my own. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Okay, lead the way, bro. Yay! Just remember, it's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. Where? This way. This? See the big X? X marks the spot. Maybe you were right after all. Of course I was right. It's there. I want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy, and you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Hey, I think I found what we need. No money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah, but first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, Robbie! No! What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but... This thing's gotta be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. 
I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop. He's always looking for stuff like this. Please, don't do this to me, Robbie. I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out. The cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it. Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright?
so you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like you. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again. Especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. Whatever I did, I'm... I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Hello? Is anybody there? Ivy? Where are you going? Devil came through here. Hey, you got your voice back. Are we okay now? Can we go back to that room? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. What the hell are you talking about? See them. No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Get away from him! I... have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big fat flesh eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine. Trust me, 
Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Hello. May I help you? You'd like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No, this is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Sure. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. Maybe you're just tired. I'm sure tomorrow, we won't even care about any of this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm losing my mind here, and you, you want me to fucking sleep! If this is reality, I can't even imagine what my dreams would be like. But thanks for your input, Joe. Useful as ever. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next... You're someone different, I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you... You didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, 
I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. It's the way you look when you sleep. But most of all, I guess, I... I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Can it be any other way? You like my smile? But I can't even remember the last time I smiled. The way I look when I sleep, really. Curled up in the corner of the bed, dreaming nightmare after nightmare every single night. Now finally, you want to be with me forever. I know. I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put. Maybe I'd lost it. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us. It's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m. Don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven.
Who's there? Hey, who are you? Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? What the fuck is this? Oh, Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Where the fuck? is my wife. Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note. A letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? What the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important to me of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on reception desk. Maybe it's not too late.
You little bastard. There you are. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Let's try this. I've got it. I miss you. 
you know. We were good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? What is this place? Why all the... mirrors? <laughs> This is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. Did you say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been... lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then... Then there is no going back. You fall and... keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. No. I've seen enough already. Hmm. Do you think you can run away from it? <laughs> no, Joe. You'll see the real monster soon enough. It doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're... A memory. That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one 
that's still not broken. But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep. With an axe. Ah, the sweet denial. You don't understand what happened. I... I didn't mean to burn it. But what else could you have done to get that key? Wait for that poor animal to shit it out? No, we both know the truth, Joe. You are not a patient man. You knew from the start that this kitty had to fry. Now be a man and admit it. And then kill me. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. This is... so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. I'll... think about it. Oh, I know you will. Gas supply has probably been turned off. Yeah. 
Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh, yes. The lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. I don't want you. Leave me alone. Stop fighting it. You and Ivy are done. She doesn't want you. It's time to move on. It's not for you to decide. Fine. Get on with your wild goose chase. There's no rush. But come find me in my office later. You'll see what a naughty girl I am.
you live. And through my eyes, every day, you cry. No, no, no! The pack got stuck. Come out, you damn thing! Come out! Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on and I'm not impressed. What bad things? Don't tell me you didn't notice. The whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there, all right. Watching. You're crazy. No. No, no, no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man. What the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. So... It's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is... Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Who are you, really? 
Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. Can you save me? Yes. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock. And it's getting louder! I have no idea what I'm looking for. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah, right. I've switched it on. Whoa. Doing the dishes, I guess. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just... I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried. You know, this whole... Can we just forget? 
forget about it. I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. All these bottles, are they... just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? medicine girl
Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But... Will it... hurt? No. You won't feel a thing. Good. That's good. I've lived with pain long enough. But... I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. No. I don't want your blood on my hands. But Joe. You are already covered in it. From head to toes. I said no. Fine. I'll do it myself. Perhaps I should. Good luck, Joe Davis. For what it's worth. I hope you find your ivy. Ah, I see you have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy! What is it? I'm busy! Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes, now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it anyway. Fingers crossed, Doc. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here... Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. 
Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. And what am I supposed to do? Hello? Where? What is... Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Bring me some clothes! I don't want to sit here all day. Here. Put this on. Really? A wedding dress? What's wrong with it? It's, uh... Yeah... It's a wedding dress? But it will cover you up and keep you warm, right? Technically... It's just... So... Freaking... Cringeworthy. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? How do I look? You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Was it a really hot, totally out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big-headed, looks-obsessed and really shallow, deep-inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. How do I look? Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kinda do, don't I? I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey. I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name? 
Why, do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait, maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So, we do know each other, then? Not really. A guy who runs this place told me your name. And... how did he know? Apparently, it was embroidered on your knickers. So he took them? Just wait till I get him. Freaking creep stealing ladies' panties. How did you... die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not! I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I promise. I'll keep you safe. And what if I trip over the stupid wedding dress and break my neck on the stairs? I'll catch you. Aw, that's really nice. Really. You know what? If you ever fall, I'll catch you too. Deal. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it, but since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Run! Do you think, do you think I'm pretty? I'm just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, oh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just... Not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. 
try me. It's stupid. I feel like such an idiot. I hate myself for it. But it's there all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back. And I do it again and again. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't. Really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will... You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you. sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazines. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. We should get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat. Why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes, that's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? I love you. No. This is not fucking happening. Help! Help! Let me out! Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. You might as well give up now. It's easier that way.
Who are you? It's been so long. You've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> Funny fellas, them maggots. Am I... dead? No. Death comes slowly. It's a process, you see. All in the right time. You have to extinguish all hope that's left. So, start scratching. Keep fighting it. We all did. Shut up. Just shut up. But Joe, we're not even here. <laughs> Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the Void. Some call it the Grave. Some call it Six Feet Under. And some call it the Tomb. But we like to call it... Wait for it, Joe. The Paradise of the Rotten Flesh. <laughs> You're just a voice in my head. Go to hell. I don't have to listen to your lies. And you're not even there. It's all in my mind. But Joe... If the voice inside your head is you... Who is the one listening to it? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Only trying to help, bud. We're the good corpses. The only friends you've got. One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. I promise. If I ever find your wandering body, I'll send it your way. <sighs> I really don't know what to say. In? Who is it? 
The door's locked and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? I'm calling the police! Whoever you are, go away! Okay, don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. Fast. Right. Please excuse me, Mr. Moose. He's in the ignition. Lucky me. Maybe. If I put something heavy on the gas pedal, the car would break through the fence. Genius!
Ivy. I'm Agnes. I'm terrible with names. So, I probably won't remember it anyway. Just say what you want and leave me be. I'm not looking for company. I promise I won't take much of your time. What is this place? Why would it matter? It is what it is. A pile of rotten shit. That's exactly what I thought, and that's exactly why we should leave. It's too late for that. What? Why? It's complicated. I don't really want to talk about it. I'd rather be alone if you don't mind. Really? In a place like this? It's none of your business. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But... It's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she will never let me go. Who? Shh. She... Who is... she? She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. She's a god and a devil. A trickster. A demon. Great. Why don't you just make some room for me on that chair? And we'll wait together for our imminent death, shall we? I don't need your bitter irony. I knew you wouldn't understand. Go away. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. It leads right through her house. But maybe... Maybe you can make it. I will make it, but you're coming with me. You can't help me. There's no way I'm leaving this room. This place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no! Get your ass off this chair right now and follow me. But... No buts. You'll be fine. I will protect you. Come on. Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Okay. Cool. I'll deal with that. You just follow me, yeah? It's time to bust out of here. What's with the pumpkins? Dinner. we went through here earlier.
We're here. That's the door I was telling you about. I'll pretend I believe you for now, no matter how crazy this sounds. And we have a perfect door handle. Now, how do we use it? Push it. Closer. I'm not as scary as they paint me. Please, be my guest. Have some soup. No thanks. Why? Is there something wrong with my soup? Yes, there really, really is. It's blood. <laughs> it's tomato. Actually, I'm not that hungry after all. Please, don't be shy. I made plenty for everyone. I... Had a big lunch. No, you're being silly. A nice hot soup will make you feel so much better. Actually, I'm trying to cut down on blood. Fine, if you want to waste a perfectly good soup. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of it. You know Joe? Oh. I know him well. He's... Uh, a friend of a friend. He came by not long ago. Did you... give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it, I can tell. Who are you? I mean, who are you really? Why? So, you don't actually think I'm the devil anymore? You said you have many names. I'm just curious which one is real. I've not used my real name for a long time. I don't need names. I am the Queen of Maggots. Adored. And feared by all. And this is my kingdom of death. But there was once another name, am I right? Yes, there was. But why would I tell you about it? You don't even belong here. Just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. F 
fine. Keep it. Whatever. I was just trying to be friendly. I've been warned about you. I met a young girl who said you were a monster. <laughs> Do I look like a monster to you? Not really, but looks can be deceiving. And why are you telling me this? I... I guess I felt sorry for the girl. I think you've done something really horrible to her. That, my dear, is none of your business. But between you and me, the bitch had it coming. It was nice chatting about soup, but I think I'll go now. So early? What about the main course? It's been waiting in the oven for a while now. I'm on a strict diet, actually. Goodbye. One more thing. Yeah? Could you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? What? Why? It's just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. Okay. I'll think about it. Let's do this. It's you! What were you even doing in there? I guess the X-Men put me in there. He probably did. Bastard. How did you... How did you find me? I did say that if you ever fall, I'll catch you. Remember? Where are we? Yeah, not a nice place. We should probably start looking for a way out. Yeah, follow me. And... Thanks. Hey, Joe? Why am I here? I mean, what is my purpose in all this? The doctor said you were important, but he didn't really explain why. Important? I like the sound of that. Bear in mind that the doctor seemed crazy as a loon. Now, don't be jealous, Joe. Just because I'm more important than you. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. But can we please go now? I don't want to see another coffin for the rest of my life. This... can't be. We're back in Quiet Haven. Sure looks like it. Maybe this would be a good time to explain what's going on? Shit. Holy mother of... Let's start from the very beginning. Yay! Story time! It's not really the kind of story you'd like to hear. I expected that much, but let's hear it anyway. My wife Ivy has this... illness. It's... 
kind of weird. She goes on these diets that go on forever, and then, then she pretends she's okay, but she's still hiding it. But I'm not blind. I could see quite well what went on, and I was worried as hell. I wanted. I needed to help her. So I arranged a little romantic getaway. A weekend in a nice country hotel. This place. But I messed up again. I should have been a better husband. What did you do? I'm not even sure. She didn't want to talk to me at first. And when we finally got to our room, I kinda wished we never opened our mouth at all. And the next day she was gone. Gone home? No. Taken away. Kidnapped. I know this sounds absolutely fucking crazy, but... It's something that lives in the mirrors. Have you seen it? Sort of. It's hidden away for now. Where? Inside the mirror. I'm not sure. It's really confusing. Well, how do we get there? This is the worst part. I have to kill four memories of this monster to open the mirror. What? They're... ghosts. Memories. Is anything here real anyway? This is all just a bad dream, and I'm not gonna think twice about it when it comes to saving Ivy. But... you can't. Dream or not, I can't believe you would do such a thing. What choice do I have? I can't leave Ivy to die. But you can't just murder somebody. Unless... you already did. I only gave her the syringe. I'm starting to think I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not a good guy after all. They're not people. They're hideous, evil beings. And you really believe Ivy's inside the mirror? Yes. You'll change your mind when you see them. The first one practically begged me to kill her. Yeah. Still not a fan of this venture, I'm afraid. But I'll hold my judgment for now. Okay. Anything else I need to know about? Do we need to blow up an atomic bomb at some point? Are we opening an interdimensional portal for the man-eating beast to plunder the Earth? I think I accidentally killed a cat. Joe! How do you accidentally kill a cat? I was just trying to catch it. Joe, be honest with me. Are you some sort of psycho? Look, the cat had a key and I needed it. I didn't mean for it to die. I, I don't even know why I brought this up. No, I should know about these things. Any more skeletons in the closet? The hotel manageress likes me a little too much. It's totally beyond me how any woman could like a guy like you. There's nothing wrong with me. Do you like her too? No, she's crazy. That explains it. Anything else? You've got someone else's brain. What? Whose brain? I don't know. Some guy. He didn't really need it. But I, I liked my brain. Sorry, it wasn't there. You can have it back if we ever find it. Well, that's comforting. 
What else do I need to know? No, that's pretty much all, except... Didn't you have something for me? What? Just before we got attacked by the Axeman, you said you had a message. A note or something? Ah, yes. Completely forgot about it. Here, take it. Okay. Lead the way, dude. Let's go save your wife. She'd better be worth it. <laughs>